I'm Dr. Roger, and today I'm working on differential equations, in particular the Laplace transform. Today I'm looking at the Laplace transform of f of t equals t, or y equals t. We'll write the Laplace transform as uppercase y, or y of s, or uppercase script L of set brackets of t, close your set brackets. A general integral transform is the integral from alpha to beta of k of s t times f of t dt. For the Laplace transform, alpha and beta are 0 and infinity, and k of s t is e to the negative s t. We'll integrate this by parts, of course, using u equals t du equals dt. V equals e to the negative s t dt, and v equals negative one, 1 over s e to the negative s t. So uppercase y, our transform is u v is negative t over s e to the negative s t minus the integral of v du minus negative is plus the integral 1 over s e to the negative s t. And all that is from 0 to infinity. Recopy in. Our integral is minus 1 over s squared e to the negative s t. And that's from 0 to infinity. As t goes to infinity, Locatel's rule will tell you that t over e to the positive st goes to 0, and e to the negative st goes to 0. For s greater than 0, so I'm implicitly assuming that s is not negative or 0. At 0, negative t over s is negative, 0 is 0 and minus negative is plus. At 0, e to the 0 is 1, so that's just 1 over s squared. So the transform of t is 1 over s squared for s greater than 0. And we do want to pay attention to the domain restrictions on s. You will want to understand where all your Laplace transforms come from, although typically we look them up in a table of Laplace transforms. So come back soon for my next differential equations video. With math, there's always more.